because am I going to take this to be me? I can tweet on it too, so just chill out, it's cool. <laughs> oh man, I haven't really blown away by Katie, that's really fucking mean. Uh, I've actually forgotten my shit, I wrote it down. But I don't really want to read it, because uh, I'm not really reading, I'm Kiwi. Hey, I'm <laughs> not, not Maori, I'm Kiwi, shut up. <laughs> hey, uh, sorry, that's a Maori joke, really sorry. I'm getting a lot of trouble, aren't I? Because, I mean, basically, it's doing it in a wheelchair. I wanted to use that joke, there's an Asian chick, I wanted to use that joke. Don't know where you're going, sorry. Uh, oh, man, it's fucking nervous, eh? No, not really, I'm like, shut up, fucking Louise, man. <laughs> Jeez, man, just take my doggy bag and leave you later. <laughs> hey, um, hey, okay, we'll start off, let's just, let's just clear the air, okay? Clear the air. Everyone just chill out, chill out, okay? Hey, um, my name's AJ, um, I'm an Aries. At, it's really good to just clear that up straight away. Um, <laughs> yep, my dad did cheat on my mum with a Vietnamese, prost Vietnamese prostitute in the Philippines, which makes no sense to me still. <laughs> my nana was killed by a ram, like the sheep. That's true, but um, yeah, you're laughing, bitch, but seriously, like her ribs went through her lung into her heart. Sorry. And she got a free helicopter ride after though, so that's really good, I'm really happy about that. <laughs> um, I love helicopters, doesn't, I hate doesn't like helicopters, that's weird. Um, <laughs> hey, um, I mean, through everything I've learnt um, through death, I've found friends are just the most important thing ever. Oh, I'm just taking my jacket off. Got a burn on shirt, it's cool. Um, hey, um, yeah, friends are just the most important thing to me, because, I mean, in summer I got lost. What up? How's it going? Shush, shush, cooch. Um, yeah, I got, I got lost uh, at New Year's. I actually got really drunk and ended up in a bush and didn't know where I was. I was up near Taupo and... Um, I hadn't really been there before, so I was like, okay, safety zone. It's gonna catch a catch a taxi, no taxis, it's telpo. Um, ended up actually catching a, a, a random Maori dude's uh, forestry logging truck to uh, Tūrangi, uh, asking to go back to Motuapa. I found out that's actually where I was already already, so um, that really shamed me out because I spent about three hours hitchhiking uh, trying to get home. But after that, the most important thing happened was I was in the hot pools or the hot river on the side of the road, which happens in New Zealand, which is beautiful. I'm hanging up with my mates, and they're both sitting there making truck noises. It's like, Burr! One dude turns the other, and he goes, Oh, you Sean? What gear are you in, bro? <laughs> <laughs> and he actually answered him, he's like, Oh, yeah, about 16. <laughs> I was like, you're fucking the head. <laughs> I mean, I've got worse mates than that, actually. Yeah, my friends, obviously, they talk about trucks, but my other mate actually loves cars. Like, did you see that documentary the other day, how they actually loved cars? Like, had sex with cars? Um, my friend actually does that, and it's okay, because he's quite funny, and he's really nice. Um, so, the other day, I thought I'd have them on, and we're walking past a bunch of cars, as you do when you're on the footpath, and um, see a hybrid, and I'm like, hey, bro, what do you think of that? He goes, no, nah, I don't do trannies. <laughs> I was like, that's fucked. But the same dude, um, he does have a girlfriend, which is awkward, because um, I don't like cars, and I don't have a girlfriend. Um, well, shut up, boys. Um, and anyway, um, so, he actually's been trying to get anal out of her, which, okay, so, whatever, anal, know, it's dirty, uh, uh, whatever, it's me. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, it's, he, he, had, he had a little bit of pit with her. He's like, hey, look, okay. If I don't have sex with a car for three months, can I have anal? She said, six months and you're on. Good bitch, I love negotiating. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> he goes, after six months, he managed to do it. Don't know, don't know how, because he was going crazy. He'd be pulling fingernails out. And um, so I uh, got to the night. Anal was going to happen. Problem is, she, f she freaked out when he pulled out a strap on and gave it to her. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't, wasn't a pretty sight, to be honest, eh? I do love my friends, though. One of them she goes through the other day, he goes, Hey, bro, you ever had a reverse, reverse wet willy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, nah, they're not all the smartest, my mates, to be honest. But, hey, I'm pretty smart. I've got a master's degree. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With distinction, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's real. Yeah. That's real. Shut the fuck up. Um, so, um, yeah, I, um, I got that, but the thing is, it's in business, which is real stupid, because um, anyone can do business, so I thought I'd put my brain to science, and I figured out AIDS. So, um, you guys might not know this, but everyone who's thought about AIDS and done the science, that's fucking wrong. This is how AIDS happened. Back in the 70s, girls were yuck. 
Let's be honest, they were growing hair out of everywhere. I don't know what the fuck was going on, but it was disgusting. Guys, guys thought it was gross. They were fucking gross. Girls, obviously, uh, being into nature, weren't going for things like plastic dildos made by mass corporations. No. They were going for things like bananas. Obviously, they're having sex with a banana. I'm only going to have sex with a monkey compared to a motherfucking girl who looks like a fucking tranny with her hair growing out of everywhere. So, girls have sex with a banana. They then, of course, pass on the banana because you're recycling, okay? Monkey eats a banana. I have sex with a monkey. AIDS, boom. That's how it happened. AIDS, fucked up. Alright, um. What was that? Do you reckon Dan Bain at the end of the set before said David Bain at the end? Ah, oh, thanks a lot, Dan Bain! I was like, yeah, done, straight away. I, f I fully caught it, so. It's, it really buzzed me out for a good half hour. Then I got to stand up. Then I got lost in the stand up. <laughs> nah, it's all good. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm a bit of a positive guy. I really like to see the best in everything. Like, I think every time I'm put in a bad situation, I just get in trouble because I'm like, still seeing the positive. Um, like, I mean, if I was deaf, it would be okay because you wouldn't have to hear dubstep or a fire alarm. So it's, it's kind of okay because the thing is, if I wasn't deaf, I'd hear dubstep and die. But um, if I heard a fire alarm and I was deaf, actually I wouldn't hear it and I'd die anyway. So either way, you're dead, you're fucked. Uh, if you're blind, that really sucks to be honest, doesn't it? Blind. This blind dude at work and he, um, he smells. And I don't understand that, because I'm like, hey mate, aren't your senses supposed to be pretty good? Like everything else is kind of like blown out of proportion. Why do you smell? I don't understand it, but his dog's really nice. And the thing is, if you're blind, you've got a friend for life. Until it dies, because you've got only about four friends in your life. And you'll have me, but you'll smell, so I won't hang out with you that much. So that's cool. I was going to make handicap jokes, sorry mate, in a wheelchair, but to be honest, I believe in being positive. You've always got priority parking. You're recession proof, you're always going to have a job being a motivational speaker. And you've, and you've only got to worry about hand-eye coordination, and to be honest, girls don't even have that. You're a dude in a wheelchair, and I fucking respect that, and I love you. And, um, you know, hey, I'm sorry if I've really pissed a few of you guys off tonight, especially you. Don't kill me, paralyse me. And you don't, no, don't. I've got fucking awful hand eye coordination. I'm really sorry, I'm sorry. Right, thanks so much for being AJ. Cheers, thanks.